How's it going guys? And no, that's not clickbait, but of course Kyosho does not make an MP10TE, but we have one of their uh, nitro kits. We're going to convert it to electric and uh, we even got the E. Yeah. <laughs> But alright guys, that's pretty much the game plan. Uh, we're going to get this thing built and converted to electric. And uh, we got I have a race that I really want to make it to. It's down in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm pretty sure if you're big into 8 scale racing, you know. Fall Brawl. Oh man. I want to go and run Nitro Buggy, Nitro Truggy, E-Truggy, E-Buggy. So, seat time is everything. So the more cars I have, the more run time I get. Hopefully the better I'll become as a driver. Well, that's the game plan anyway. <laughs> But I guess we'll do like a quick unboxing of this. Um, I'm not a big fan of unboxing videos, but um, maybe somebody will find some kind of useful information out of it. Uh, but I've already got some stuff ordered for the kit. So then the next video would definitely be like kind of not step by step, but a somewhat building the kit. As I try not to tear up everything on my RC car desk. This is actually, this is my second, if you've been on the channel before, you know I already have the Nitro car built and ready to go, even though I don't have any running footage of it yet. Um, we definitely want to get some running footage, guys. I've had a lot of requests for, um, to run the buggies together, to run the truggy, and like I said, time is just not my friend, but we will get there. First thing in the box, as soon as you open it, the instructions, sticker pack, and, uh, you know, all that good stuff. And then I would say you have the back part of the car for the most part. Um, it's like your rear control arms, suspension pills, wing mount, or the wing stay. Stone guards, mud guards. Um, I'm not really sure what they're called. This would be the rest of the back part of the car. Sway bar. What's that? The rear hubs. And just, because this is like one of the things I looked at from an unboxing, or an unboxing video. Like I said, it does come with like the neon green suspension pills. Like I said, uh, my paint scheme is uh, red, black, and white. So I always run like white suspension pills and I'll have to get a white wing. So if you're curious what color pills it comes with, there you go. <laughs> I know I was. This right here, we got like the diffs, bulkhead, a very massive freaking drive shaft, or rear drive shaft, look at that. It's that long, that's crazy. Of course, I've built one of these before, but still, every time I see it, you know, this thing's just stretched out and elongated, because of course, it's a truggy. But anyway, we got some shocks. Not a fan of like, colors on the strings and stuff, but that stuff you really can't change. I'm really picky, and Stuff we're, we're definitely not going to use. Gas tank, <laughs> fuel lines. Not going to be needing that gas. I'm sure we'll find something to do with that. I've been wanting to build my own engine break in stand, so might do something like that. But another black, I have like so many Kyosho black wings. Um, it's ridiculous. So if you need a black wing, <laughs> let me know. If you pay the shipping, I'll send it to you for free. <laughs> Another thing we're not going to be needing, air filter. Not needing that where we're going. Uh, slag, brakes. Not going to be needing those either. <laughs> this is all the front suspension, the front shock tower, front control arms, drive shaft. Oh look, another bag we're not going to be needing. Engine mounts and the clutch. Why would all that good stuff? Not gonna be needing a lot of these bags is the way it's looking, guys. Of course, we got 
the engine plate and all the steering right there the massive body I actually I'm like a really weird when it comes to bodies like like with the MP9 like I actually preferred the old style bodies over the new style bodies like I think with my e car I stayed using the original um, e body like all through the variation so every time they come out with a new kit like I just always ran the old body like to me this was where it was at um, even with like the new I think I might try to get into making my own body so stick around for that that might be interesting yeah I'm actually a fan sorry for rambling <laughs> but I'm actually a fan of the new bodies like the truggy and the buggy I think they look really really good so um, pumped on that and of course the massive but beautiful chassis this is gonna be awesome guys I'm gonna start taking some measurements of the chassis and stuff like that I'm really hoping I can use the original or the old electric conversion kit from Kyosho for the MP9 so I'm hoping I can use their engine mount and uh, their battery tray and everything I know the battery tray should mount up right back here to where it mounts to the engine and up front I'm hoping I'll be able to use some of these holes I'm hoping for some reason they're in the same place just one of those things um, I'm sure somebody's already converted one of these to electric. I did look online just for a brief second. I didn't see anything. But we're going to give it a shot. It will be successful because we're not going to quit. I know I can make it work. So it should be interesting. So, but yeah. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm going to quit rambling. Uh, the next video will be starting to get this thing put together and uh, actually get some track time. So. Like always guys, I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, please stick around because we got a lot of RCs. But please stick around. We got a lot of RC car stuff coming up and I'm really happy to be ramping up and getting back into RC so much and kind of pushing away from all the other crazy stuff that I try to do. So yeah, that's it guys. Appreciate you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. How's it going guys just want to apologize that's not clickbait but of course Kyosho does not make a e truggy but we bought a nitro kit we're going to convert it to electric and uh so we even have the e oh that's stupid it's not good come on guys we gotta do better than that